Hey Wompers, in this video we want to make you more familiar with areas, unions and groups. All elements that help you to organize your scenes and keep a high resolution. For that, let's create some fun icons that you can use for your graphic design. Starting with a simple search icon. For that, let's grab a cylinder from the top bar menu. Using the buttons on our gizmo, we can scale it to be flat. At the right side menu, we can choose a material. And then also round up the shape. To create a hole in the middle of it, let's duplicate our cylinder by pressing Command or Control plus D. Scale it smaller from the center, but make it taller. When we are holding down Alt, we can equally scale it from both sides. Then at the right, we can now turn our shape negative, which makes it subtract from all shapes that are above it in the scene list at the left. To create the handle of our magnifying glass, we simply duplicate our positive cylinder shape and exchange the shape to a cube using the right side menu. Now we just rotate it and bring it into position, holding down shift for 45 degree snap rotations. Then let's make another duplicate that we can scale slightly bigger and give another color by duplicating the material in the menu at the right. Now we have the magnifying glass. Let's also add a cube plate background to finish the icon. I would love for it to have round edges. With the pro version, we can simply copy the shape, round it up and use intersect. In the free version, you could just cut a rounded cube with negative cubes from both sides. Now we are facing a problem. The intersect shape is affecting our shapes that are above it in the scene list. So it also cuts our magnifying glass we can avoid that by splitting our elements into different unions and areas. When we have two or more shapes selected, we have the option to merge them together to a union. This allows us to have multiple primitives form a new unique shape, which you can now use to subtract from other shapes, like this background plate. A union allows us to still use negative or gooping, while bringing the shapes into a new area allows us to not have shapes affect each other anymore and ensures a high resolution. You can see how we avoid the artifacts around the magnifying glass by taking our shapes into a new area. You can also control the resolution of your areas in the health tab of the scene list at the left. We recommend splitting elements into different unions and areas whenever it makes most sense for your build and also when you start noticing artifacts around your creations. Lastly, we have groups that help us to organize our scenes but don't have any direct affection on how our shapes behave. We can, for example, take our areas and bring them into one group that we call search icon. So here are two more icons that we have made. The switch is made with a simple two point cylinder based curve that is being subtracted by a smaller version of the same curve. And we make sure to bring our positive and negative curve into one union while we keep the little blue button cylinder out of it. The world icon is a little more complex. We use a combination of unions and areas to make sure we only subtract in the ways that we want and also keep a high resolution that way. 
We hope that this gave you a better idea on how to manage your projects. If there's any questions left, feel free to ask away. Thank you so much for watching and have fun womping.